Hi, and welcome to this webinar. And today it's all about the customer experience. So if you're interested in improving the quality of the customer experience your company delivers, and you want a positive development in customer loyalty, less customer dropout and increased revenue, we have some great content for you today. And in this webinar, we provide you with seven steps along with examples and case studies to help you create a great customer experience strategy. And my name is Jeanette and I work with the customer experience team here at SuperOffice. And my goal is to show how you can use CRM to build relationships across the entire customer journey and deliver great customer experiences. And in these webinars, we talk about CRM strategy, we show you tips and tricks and how to work smarter so you can get the most out of your CRM solution. And if you have any questions during the presentation, you can use the chat if you log in with your Google account, or you can also send us a message directly by email, on social media, or you can reach out on our website. And if you want to see the presentation again or share it, you will find all our webcasts on our YouTube channel. So remember to like and subscribe so you can get notified when we're live or we upload new videos. So let's take a look at the agenda for today. And we will start with an introduction and talk about what customer experience is and why it's so important for organizations today. And then we will look at the seven tips to create a customer experience strategy. And we'll also talk a little bit about what's a customer experience versus what's a customer service. And then we will also take a peek inside SuperOffice and see some examples in SuperOffice CRM. And then the next steps, how to get started and where to reach us. So why are we talking so much about customer experience? We surveyed almost 2000 business professionals and asked them what the top business priority is for the next five years. And customer experience or CX came in first, beating both product and pricing. And it's no surprise that customer experience is so high. To put it simply, companies who successfully implement a customer experience strategy achieve higher customer satisfaction rates, reduced customer churn and increased revenues. But what exactly is customer experience? Customer experience, also known as CX, is defined by the interactions and experience your customer has with your business throughout the entire customer journey, from the first contact to becoming a happy and loyal customer. And CX is an integral part of customer relationship management or CRM. And the reason why it's important is because a customer who has a positive experience with a business is more likely to become a repeat and loyal customer. In fact, according to a global CX study by Oracle found that 74% of senior executives believe that a customer experience impacts the willingness of a customer to be a loyal advocate. And if you want your customers to stay loyal, you have to invest in their experience. Simply put, happy customers remain loyal. And the happier you are with the brand, the longer you stay with them. So if you treat your customers poorly or ignore their customer service mails, then they're more likely to stop doing business with you. And this is why companies that deliver a superior customer experience outperform their competitors and this means they'll be spending more with your business and less in theirs. For example, here's a few statistics. Customer experience is set to be the number one brand differentiator in 2020 and beyond. One in three customers will leave a brand they love after just one bad experience. And customers are willing to pay a price premium of up to 13% for luxury and indulgent services simply by receiving a great customer experience. And 49% of buyers have made impulse purchases after receiving a more personalized customer experience. And customers that rate companies with a high customer experience score, for example, 10 out of 10, spend 140% more and remain loyal for up to six years. So it's extremely important that you focus on the experience you deliver to your customers. And we're not just talking about customer service. 
And then you ask if customer experience is the same as customer service. No, and here's why. In most cases, a customer's first point of contact with the company is usually by interacting with an employee, either by visiting a store or by speaking on the phone or chat. And this gives your business an opportunity to deliver great customer service. However, customer service is only one aspect of the entire customer experience. For example, if you book a vacation on the phone and the person you're speaking with is friendly and helpful, that's good customer service. Yet if your tickets arrive early and the hotel upgrades your room, then that's great customer experience. That's how the two are different. Like most things in today's marketplace, customer experience has changed. It's more than person-to-person service. And thanks to technology, companies can connect with their customers in new and exciting ways. For example, using a CRM software, you can view customer purchase history and to predict future needs even before the customer knows they need it. And having the ability to predict a future need will let you be proactive and attentive. And it means you can do things like provide related products based on purchase history, create and deliver targeted email marketing campaigns, and understand the 360 degree view of the customer. And customer service is still as important as ever but it's no longer the sole focus of the customer experience. Now, the customer experience brings new ways to strengthen customer relationships through technological breakthroughs. And a business cannot exist without its customers. And this is why companies are focusing on how to win new business and perhaps more importantly, retain existing customers. And delivering great customer experience has become a top strategic objective. And the challenge here is that even though it's a high priority, most companies are failing to deliver a good customer experience. And when Bain & Company asks organizations to rate their quality of customer experience, 80% believe they are delivering a superior experience. And this is compared to only 8% of customers who believe they are receiving a great customer experience. So how many brands are truly delivering an excellent customer experience? Customer expectations are rising and faster than the speed that companies can improve their customer experience. And customers expect that every interaction end-to-end to to be the best experience they have with any company, not just yours. If a great customer experience is focused on ensuring all interactions and touch points with your business is easy, enjoyable and seamless, then the exact opposite is true when it comes to a bad customer experience. And some of the most common causes for bad customer experiences involve difficult purchasing processes, negative experiences with customer support, compromising a customer's personal security, waiting too long on hold, for example, or ignoring customer feedback. So the question remains, how can your organization create a great customer experience strategy? So let's take a look at seven ways to create a great customer experience strategy to help you improve customer satisfaction, reduce churn, and increase revenues, including some examples, also in a demo in Superoffice afterwards. And number one is to create a clear customer experience vision. The first step in your customer experience strategy is to have a clear customer focused vision that you can communicate with your organization. And the easiest way to define this vision is to create a set of statements that act as guiding principles. For example, Zappos use their core family values, and these values are embedded into their culture, which includes delivering wow through service, being humble, and embracing change. And once these principles are in place, they will drive the behavior of your organization, and every member of your team should know these principles by heart, and they should be embedded into all areas of training and development. And the next step in building upon this customer experience principles is to bring to life the different types of customers who deal with your customer support teams. So if your organization is going to really understand customer needs and wants, then they need to be able to connect and empathize with the situations that your customers face. And one way to do this is to segment your customers and create personas or customer profiles. And by creating personas, your customer support team can recognize who they are and understand them better. 
And it's also an important step in becoming truly customer centric. And third, you need to create an emotional connection with your customers. You've heard the phrase, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Well, the best customer experience are achieved when a member of your team creates an emotional connection with the customer. And one of the best examples of creating an emotional connection comes from Zappos, again. When a customer was late on returning a pair of shoes due to her mother passing away, when Zappos found out what happened, they took care of the return shipping and had a courier pick up the shoes without cost. But Zappos didn't stop there. The next day, the customer arrived home to a bouquet of flowers with a note from the Zappos customer success team who sent their condolences. And research by the Journal of Consumer Research has found that more than 50% of an experience is based on an emotion, as emotions shape the attitudes that drive decisions. So customers become loyal because they're emotionally attached and they remember how they feel when they use a product or a service. And according to a Harvard Business Review study titled The New Science of Customer Emotions, emotionally engaged customers are at least three times more likely to recommend your product or service, three times more likely to repurchase, less likely to shop around, and much less price sensitive. 33% said they would need a discount of over 20% before they would defect. Number four is to capture customer feedback in real time. So how can you tell if you're delivering a wow customer experience? You need to ask, and ideally you do this by capturing feedback in real time. So you can use a live chat to have real time conversations. And when done, you can send a follow up email to every customer using a post interaction survey. And of course, it's possible to make outbound calls to customers in order to gain more insightful feedback as well. And it's important to tie the customer feedback to a specific customer support agent, which shows every team member the difference they're making to the business. And number five is to use a quality framework for development of your team. So by following the steps that we have talked about so far, you now know what customers think about the quality of your service compared to the customer experience principles you have defined. And the next steps is to identify the training needs for each individual member of your customer support team. And many organizations assess the quality of phone and email communication However, a quality framework takes this assessment one step further by scheduling and tracking your team's development through coaching, e-learning and group training. And number six is to act upon regular employee feedback. Most organizations have an annual survey process where they capture the overall feedback of your team, how engaged they are and the business ability to deliver an exceptional service. But what happens in the 11 months between these survey periods? Usually nothing. And this is where continuous employee feedback can play a role using tools that allow staff to share ideas on how to improve the customer experience and for managers to see how staff is feeling towards the business. And you can create a closed environment where your organization can leave continuous feedback. And this can be gathered in a ticketing system, through a web form or an employee feedback system. And finally, how do you know if all this investment in your team's process and technology are working and paying off? The answer is in the business results. And measuring customer experience is one of the biggest challenges faced by organizations, which is why many companies use the Net Promoter Score, or NPS, which collects valuable information by asking a single straightforward question. Would you recommend this company to a friend or a relative? And MPS, which was created at Bain and Company, is a highly suitable benchmark for customer experience metric because a lot of companies use it as the standard customer experience measurement. And the fact that it's simple to implement and measure makes MPS a favorite with company boards and executive committees. So that was the seven tips to create a CX strategy. How are you going to deliver those experiences with your CRM system? If you're going to deliver customer experiences that are better than the competitors, it is also about understanding that CRM has two phases. 
On one side, it's how you enable your employees to deliver unsurpassed customer experiences with the help of insights, customer data, key figures, and process support. On the other side, it's how you enable customers to help themselves 24 seven by making information available and securing communication both ways. And SuperOffice will help you centralize your interactions with customers in one place. You can build connections with your customers through live chat, encourage them to sign up to access your newsletter and help them to solve their problems with an engaging self-service solution. And all of this means you can stay in touch with your customers throughout their journey, offering support in the way that suits them. So let's take a look uh, how you can deliver great customer experiences with Superoffice CRM in this demo. And we will start this demo in Superoffice Service. And Service helps you to keep track of and answer all inquiries as soon as they come in and solve your customers' problems, no matter whether they come by phone, email, chat or web forms. And we can automatically assign inbound requests to the right category and key personnel by setting up multiple mail accounts or keyword filters. And if a request has been unanswered for a set amount of time, the system will automatically escalate it. And a quick search on tracking number, customer, ticket owner, status, period, or category will get you the information you're looking for. And each inquiry is automatically assigned a unique reference number and all related communication is tracked with it. So that was a short intro to Superoffice Service. But what about the tips that we've been talking about today? The first one was to create a clear customer experience vision. And this is not something inside of Superoffice, but we can link to it like a manual or an internal wiki. And the second is to understand who your customers are. And on the customer, we can see the history. We can see customer details, interests, and customizable fields that will help you to deliver more personal content. So the third is to create an emotional connection with your customers. So when we're closing a case, we might want to set a date to follow up on a certain time. So for example, in this request, which is now solved, we can also set a reminder on a later date to follow up and also give a more personal message directly to the customer. So we also talked about capturing customer feedback in real time. And for this, we can use the chat. So when the conversation is over, we can send a follow-up email with a form and after the customer replies, this goes back into the system. I can also open the request so that the agents are notified. And then it's also important to act on employee feedback. And for this, we can also use web forms or we can make a separate category inside the system to track each suggestion that we make internally. Or we can simply use tags directly on a customer request. And finally, it's important to measure the return on investment from delivering great customer experiences. 
And for this, we can also use web forms and add a simple MPS or Net Promoter Score survey directly from SuperOffice, or we can connect an app like MPS today. And this way we can measure customer loyalty and improve customer satisfaction levels, even though they have not been in contact directly with our support or CX team. And this is also great to capture any feedback, both negative and positive. And also remember to follow up to deliver those great experiences. And all customer inquiries, no matter how they're sent, are captured and organized centrally in your CRM database. So everyone in the company has immediate access to the information and will be able to check into the status of the customer prior to any contact. And this is what we call a 360 degree view of the customer. So customer expectations are higher than ever and word of mouth travels fast. And as the customer becomes even more empowered, it increases the importance of the customer experience. And customer experience is an area that needs constant nurturing and care. And with a greater focus on customer experience strategy, companies will realize a positive impact on customer loyalty, higher retention and increased revenue growth. So to summarize, the seven tips that we've looked at today is to create a clear customer experience vision, understand who your customers are, create an emotional connection with your customers and capture customer feedback. Also use a quality framework for development of your team, act upon regular employee feedback and measure the ROI. So what's the next steps if you want to get started with your strategy? When it comes to creating a great customer experience, it's important to consider the entire customer journey. And this means you need a clear understanding of the end-to-end -end experiences with the customers and how interactions at each point are received. And focusing on a customer's journey and identifying the problems within them offers new opportunities to create a great customer experience. And this also enables your teams to brainstorm ideas to reduce friction, improve business relationships and increase growth. And digitalization of the customer journey is something our CRM experts can help you with. Because buying a CRM is only one small step towards reaching your business goals. The most important part of the journey is defining and mapping the business processes that system should support. And our team of experts can help you to define your goals and KPIs, map business processes, create customer programs, and set up measurements and ensure end user adoption. And once your business processes are defined, we will configure the system to reflect how you do business and ensure that it streamlines all your activities for maximum business impact and great customer experiences. And we have some resources for you. Uh, on our blog, you will find this article, uh, Seven Ways to Create a Customer Experience Strategy. And we will also link to this and other inspiration in our email, which we will send out shortly. And then, of course, you can attend more events Look if you're looking for uh, useful tips related to CRM and inspiration on how to boost your sales, marketing and customer service performance. You can attend one of our webinars or seminars to learn more about the possibilities with SuperOffice and with new apps and the latest features. And we'll also talk more about how to level up your CX initiatives in upcoming events. And on our YouTube channel, you will find all our previous webcasts, like the one we had about customer journey, where you walk you through step-by-step -step how to get started on mapping your journey. And you can also book a meeting with us or with one of our partners. And we'll be happy to answer any questions regarding the customer experience strategy or how SuperOffice can help you build stronger relationships with your customers. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining us. I hope you got some inspiration on delivering great customer experiences. And remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and videos. Have a great day.